Let's face it, people spend more and more time on their phones than on their computers, that's a fact. And in such realities, having a conventional website simply won't cut it. If you don't have a mobile app, you're toast. But don't just rush into comments saying how expensive mobile development is, because in this video, I'll show you a super easy and affordable way to transform your website into a mobile app. Now, I didn't want to spill the beans too early, but I was thinking about creating an online store to sell merch. So I started exploring options beforehand especially in the department of mobile apps and what I found is that creating a personalized mobile app is kind of easy. Currently I'm learning with App My Site and their demo website and I can already see this experience helping me in the future. So let me tell you about how my training looks like and what you have to do to create a mobile app from your website. First thing to do, create an account. Once you're done, just click on create new app. Next, you paste the link to your website and select the type, whether it's a WordPress website or any other. You need to enter correct information here, so pay attention. Next, just enter a name for your app and click build app. For the demonstration, I will use the dailyfashionstore.com website, which is on WordPress and uses WooCommerce plugin. Once at my site finishes analyzing the website, you'll see a personalization page first creating an icon if you have an icon already just upload it if not create your own by choosing a color text font and size then tap on next and move on to customizing your launch screen Again, you can either create it by hand or upload a pre-made design. The next step is designing the login or sign up page. If your website doesn't have one, skip this step. But if it has, you can either upload your own design or create it from scratch using built-in instruments. Once you've done that, move on to the next step, which is picking a general color theme for the app. Choose a primary color, the text color, the font, and customize the style of buttons. The last stage is choosing the items for your main screen. App My Site automatically analyzes the website to find sections, so all you have to do is toggle a few switches. You also can rearrange the sections, move them up or down. On the preview on the right, you can instantly see the look of the app on iOS or Android. When that is done, we need to connect our WordPress website and app with a plugin. App My Site actually tells you what to do, so I'll click Download Plugin and open our website's WordPress dashboard. On the left panel, I'll select Plugins and pick Add New Option. Now on on the top, I click Upload Plugin and pick a recently downloaded plugin from App My Site website or simply search for the App My Site plugin in the search bar. Activate the plugin in WordPress and go back to the App My Site website. Go to Connectivity, Install Plugin and click Verify. Now we must grant access to the WordPress. Click Grant Access with WordPress Application Password and enter your admin username and password. Most likely you don't have the password yet, so open up your WordPress dashboard, go to Users on the left panel, scroll to Application Password, enter Application Password name and click Add New Application Password. Now just paste this password to App My Site, click Verify again, and from now on, your app is basically ready. You can test it on virtual devices to see how everything works, check for errors, etc. In the settings, you can further personalize the app if you want, integrate chat, Firebase, Google AdSense, etc. Let's check how the app looks on the virtual device by going to the preview page. Here you can see side by side how the app will look and go through menus, items, and so on. The app we've got has all the same functionality as the website, looks equally great, and performs really well on emulated devices. We can go to the home screen and scroll through items, click on any one of them, scroll through photos, read reviews or product information and add items to cart. Also, we could go to blogs and read posts there. These posts, as you see, are fully optimized for the mobile phone without weird artifacts and rendering issues, just as you want them to be in your app. This online emulated preview feels really natural and I honestly have a better experience here than I have from using Amazon or eBay. The interface is responsive and the app's logic is intuitive which is perfect for any app. If you want a real test, you can easily build an actual app which you later can transfer to your phone or upload to Google Play or App Store. What I especially like is that App My Site could actually help you publish your app onto these platforms as well as make it super easy to release updates to the app. If you want to make any changes to the app, just do them on the website and the next time anyone opens the app on their phones, the app will already be updated. No need to build another app version and submit it to the app store, 
super easy. No maintenance required from your side, at my side does it all. I really liked how easy and fast it was to set up the app. The process was so straightforward and so simple. I'm sure no one will have any troubles with that. I am certain that with all this new knowledge, I will create the best damn merch selling app out there. Or maybe it won't just be a merch selling app. I see so many possibilities already. A podcasting app, video broadcasting app, music app, anything works. It's like a superpower that's waiting to be tamed. I also want to thank At My Side for sponsoring this video. Thanks, guys. I can already see hundreds of small businesses adopting At My Side, creating personalized and well-optimized websites and getting even more conversions. Thank you for watching, guys, and see you in the next one.